All right, so I got a couple of articles from the Daily Mail for you today. I wear tight booty shorts and a sports bra at the gym. Trolls say I only do it for male attention, but they're so wrong. And women are wearing a safety layer over their outfits in public to deter creepy men, with many labeling it sad but necessary. So Tim Poole discussed both these articles, articles a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to respond to them as well because I don't think that Tim did a very good job of going into how woke the, these opinions these uh, articles are the, the opinions that these articles are expressing are now Tim it, he, his focus seems to be news more than wokeness but I mean come on I'm all about the, the wokeness and it's just ridiculous to sit here and think that uh, you know white men have it so easy white people have it easier than other races and uh non-whites non-males are oppressed in this country it's like yeah okay my my life has just been a cakewalk yeah if you go if you go back and, and look at it i did a video on one of those um took one of those online tests about how privileged are you and it came up and not privileged and they're like oh um yeah we weren't expecting that answer yeah it's <laughs> this is ridiculous to sit here and think that that white men just have it easy white men have been had and everything on a silver platter i've had to work very hard for what i have very hard. I'm still paying my student loans, so don't even start this with me. Anyway, before we get started, I do want to thank everybody for stopping by. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube does unsubscribe people every single day. Click the bell for notifications. You can find me on Rumble on Twitter on BitChute and Odyssey, although I don't get to BitChute and Odyssey very very often because it's, it's just a pain to, to deal with uploading over there. But let's take a look at these uh, articles here. We'll start with the booty shorts one because I go to the gym a lot, and there are girls wearing booty shorts there. All of the time. Deanna O'Donnell from Maryland revealed why she wears gym shorts. Oh, I can tell you exactly why she wears gym shorts. She wants to look good, and looking good involves being attractive to the opposite sex. That's, that's just how it is. The TikToker hit back at trolls who said she dressed for male attention. Yeah, you, you think that you don't do it for male attention, but you have to understand that the burqa exists for a reason. It's to eliminate the distraction that the female form is for men. I said thanks, Dum Dum. Go get more. Summer, put your burka on. So the article says, a woman hit back at trolls who claimed she wears tight booty shorts and sports bras to the gym for attention. Deanna O'Donnell from Lutherville, Maryland took to her TikTok, Deanna Outfit, to share a workout video. She donned light blue shorts and a white sports bra as she positioned herself near the squat rack. In the clip, which racked up 363,000 views, the text read, girls that dress like this at the gym just want male attention. Well, there she is. She's nothing special, if you ask me. I mean, she has a pretty decent face, but that could be largely makeup. It probably is largely makeup. I don't know. Let's take a look at her um, odd fit TikTok page. Why not? This is the video. Here she is. Look at this. Okay, so what do we got going on here? This is it right here. Let me explain to you why she's doing this for attention. What is the centermost part of the screen, her butt? <laughs> it's like, what are you trying to do here? You're trying to fool me into thinking that you're not doing this for attention, even though your butt is centered on the, sc on the screen, and it doesn't have to be. In fact, you would get a better read of your form if you had the camera positioned to the side. Let's see. Okay, I don't get that video. Let's go check out Outfit here. Let's see what she has going on here on her TikTok. All right, here she is in a low-cut top. Oh, yeah, she's not looking for male attention. Let's see what this says. I said I want something big. I want something that says I'm here. Beyonce. Oh, yeah, that was stupid. If we look through the images here, look, look at her here taking pictures of her in the gym, sticking her butt out. Now, I've talked to girls about this, and they say that this happens in locker rooms all the time. The girls, look, they turn to the side and look in the mirror and make sure that their boobs are sticking out and their butt is sticking out. Yeah, but you're not dressing for male attention. Well, we've got another squatting video here. Okay, she's doing shoulder press here. But still, her butt is positioned near the center of the screen. Why is her butt positioned near the center of the screen? And why is she wearing barely any clothing? She doesn't want male attention. No, she doesn't want that male attention. Here she, she's doing pull-ups here. 
And what's in the center of the screen? Her butt. What does this say here? When you started your fitness journey trying to shrink yourself, but now all you want to, yeah, is a Dorito back, whatever. Okay. Here she is again, showing her butt. Here she is again, showing her butt. Here she is again, showing her butt. Everything is her showing her butt in these tight booty shorts. Look at this. Just a picture of her butt in the tight booty shorts. But no, she doesn't want male attention. She's not doing it for male attention. Oh, there she is. Okay, so this actually is a video of her showing her butt, doing different exercises. <laughs> oh, this one does not show her butt, amazingly. This one is, that one is, these are actually for good form here, but they're still emphasizing her butt is right in the center of the screen. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you're doing this for, for people to look at your butt. Even with the red shorts, she's showing her butt. She, she's showing her butt over here in this. It looks like she's wearing a skirt. Even these these side pictures here, which which is better for showing your form in a lot of these exercises. She's showing her butt. Now, I have been going to the gym for a long time, and I've noticed this. The, these booty shorts, what they do is they tighten the butt, and they lift, and they separate as well. And um, there are girls who wear these booty shorts who have thicker thighs, fatter thighs. Let me put it that way. Fatter thighs than the shorts are designed for. In fact, she does right here. If you look at this image right here, you see how thick, see, see how her thigh is thicker than the shorts, the short tighten, the shorts tighten that. Why are you wearing this sort of thing unless you want to look your best and looking your best involves getting male attention? That burqa is a human rights violation. Now, the girls that I'm referring to at the gym, they, they're, they got gross cottage cheese thighs and they wear these, these tight shorts and then the, the thighs spill out on the bottom. It's gross, it's so gross. It's like, you're not fooling me. They might be fooling somebody, but it's not fooling me. I, I come from a family of models. I'm used to seeing this sort of thing. And this is just a picture of her looking good in her underwear and tennis shoes, supposedly. Again, here we go. We're looking at her butt instead of looking at her, seeing, seeing a better image of proper form. Everything is you know, three-quarter from behind to show off her butt. I mean, I don't know how many more times I can, or more different ways I can say this. And she's not that attractive. So, like, look, look here. She has this shirt that's tucked it's it's like a half shirt in front or it's tucked up in front <clears throat> there she goes showing off her butt yeah look look how cute i am uh-huh so i want to talk about that it's like not that it's tucked up in front but these girls are wearing these tight pants tight shorts to the gym and they're wearing a t-shirt and they're tucking the t-shirt up in back they're tucking the t-shirt up in back why would you tuck the t-shirt up in back so that i can see the small of your back and your butt what would that be about oh oh yeah that's right it would be about showing off your butt and you're showing off your butt for male attention and the wokeness says no 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 this is female empowerment mm -hmm. yeah that's what the woke says it says this is female empowerment to be able to show off my body for myself it makes me feel good i look good therefore i feel good therefore i should be allowed to do this and men shouldn't look at me when i'm doing it uh-huh all right there's not much to this article but we'll take a look at what's left here she clapped back with the real reason for dressing the way she does. She, okay, let's find out. She captioned the clip or to look hot for ourselves. Uh-huh. As I said, you can't do that. Looking hot for yourself automatically means you're looking hot for men. Many rushed to the comments with mixed views and some agreed with Deanna. One person said it's literally just to look at ourselves, actually. Uh-huh. That's why you're positioning the camera behind you. And centering your posterior in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else agreed saying, honestly, I prefer compliments from other women way more than men, especially when I'm at the gym. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, you, you would. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, because you're, you're, you're a simpleton, a child trapped in an adult body. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, the cuter the outfit, the better the workout, right? Oh, yeah, that's how it works. Yes, yes. When I have a cute outfit on, I know I get a better workout in the gym. Uh-huh. Actually, it's, it's to feel more confident within ourselves and with the confidence we have a better workout. Oh, yes, that's that's what it is. Because I know that when I walk into the gym, I, I just can't work out unless I feel confident that day. It doesn't mean you don't want attention just because you don't give any back. That's true. If you're not wearing it at home where no one can see you, then you're not wearing it for yourself. Yup, that is true, true, true. Virus Kid YT. Molly World says attention and validation. Yep, that's what you want it for. There's re recounting all the things we just read. And that's pretty much the end of it. Now we got some comments on here. What's wrong with wanting male attention? Exactly. What is wrong with wanting? I mean, today you're not, oh, oh, the man, he gave me attention. He's a creep. Yes, 
that's what that's what it, it comes down to. It's like, no, I'm not a I'm not a creep just because I gave you attention. She means I think that you're attractive. So what? Oh, he's going to hurt me. Uh, uh. Now, this is a story I've told before a long, long time ago on my channel. I got the job that I'm working at now. One of the very first days I was working there with another teacher, and I was talking to this teacher who was talking to a student, a female student. And he told a story about how he was at a gas station close by, and some, some guy walked up to him and threatened to kill him. And the girl said, oh, women have it so much worse, which we know is not true. Women have it so much easier in life. And I said, how could you possibly know that? And she said, well, let me put it to you this way. I was just walking down the street minding my own business, and this guy came out of nowhere and said, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. Oh, getting total compliment from a stranger is much worse from getting threatened with death. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. This is the delusion that the woke live in, that women have it worse because they get compliments from strangers, whereas men don't have it nearly as bad, even though they get threatened with death. The Politicon says, a poor little snowflake narcissist. <laughs> We know what this is about. Guess she got her 15 minutes of fame. Yes, exactly. She wants her fame. I believe it's time men started wearing very tight shorts and no top at the gym. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Is what uh, Deanne Gower says. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> this guy says, great butt. Yeah, so people get it. There's a lot. Of, obviously, the women are going to be siding with her. It's talking about, it's not about you. It's about me. Uh, they can't see the broader picture that when you do this stuff, you are eye candy for men. You are going to get attention from men. You show up to the gym looking amazing. Men are going to look at you. We used to have this thing called modesty in our culture. We don't have that anymore because, oh, heaven forfend, a woman should actually be respectful of herself, of society that she lives in, and of interpersonal relationships. I have a friend who is, he is well into his 70s now. He's almost 80. And he said that, yeah, when I was a young man, we didn't see sex everywhere we went. And now it's it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's just sex advertised all over the place. So yeah, it comes down to women showing off their bodies. Let's get into this other article now. Let me see. Women are wearing a safety layer over their outfits in public to deter creepy men with a mini labeling it sad but necessary. It's um not sad but necessary, especially when you call a man who looks at you creepy. Like if I look at you for more than just a fraction of a second, I'm, I'm considered a creep because I'm checking you out. How dare I? What gives me the right to look at you? But if I were six feet, two inches tall, broad shoulders, narrow waist, handsome face, strong jawline, dressed in a manner which the woman found to be stylish, then I would not be considered a creep no matter how long I stared at you. So women are wearing safety layers over their outfits to deter creepy men with many labeling it sad but necessary. And I have to do it one-handed to keep these Belushis from carting you off. The least you could do is be ashamed of your gender. Ugh. This is why this garment came into existence. Ray Hershey from New York shared how she keeps herself safe in the city on her TikTok. Uh-huh. We'll take a look at her TikTok. Don't worry. She captioned the clip, which racked up more than 600,000 views. Just know if you, if you see me in a white button-down... The real outfit is underneath. Um, it's probably not a button-down that she's wearing. She doesn't know what a button-down is, I'm sure. All right. On the viral video, she wrote, When you arrive at your destination, you can take off your subway shirt. The clip showed the content creator in a cafe removing a coat and a white shirt to reveal the black top with a cutout detail. She was wearing not only a safety layer of a white shirt, but she was also wearing a coat. She had to have two safety layers. When you have a coat, you can just zip the coat up, button the coat up, and hey, guess what? There's your safety layer, stupid. This woman is insane. Why are you wearing multiple layers for safety when one is all that is necessary? Ridiculous. And she also says here, you uh, when you get to your destination, so is your destination in public? Are you taking off your your safety layer in public? Then what purpose does it serve? Oh, it keeps me safe on the subway. Uh, don't go onto the subway then. If the subway is so dangerous that you cannot be seen wearing certain clothing there or else you will draw the attention of creepy men, why would you go there? Well, let's take a look down here. The reason is she's not attractive is why. Right? She is not attractive to garner attention of from men if she was wearing just normal clothing. So if she's wearing something provocative like the shirt that we see here in the image, then yes, she's going to she's gonna get the attention of men. I've had personal experience with this. I have a, a couple of friends. They're, they're a couple, married couple. And the sister of the husband of this couple is not an attractive woman. And the wife always complains. It's like, I don't understand why she gets so much male attention. I don't get it. I'm better looking than she is, and I don't get any male attention. But she gets men coming onto her, chasing after her all of the time. And I'm like, well, when I look at her, your, your sister-in-law, 
when I look at her, I see somebody who's ready for sex. She's like ready to go. The way that she's dressed, the way that she acts, she's looking to hook up with a guy. I don't get that experience when I look at you. So again, it comes down to what you're presenting to the world. You might not be the prettiest girl in the world, but there's a lot of men out there who, for whom any hole is a goal. You're not, this is not an attractive woman in my opinion. No, she's not. She's not pretty at all, really. She's at best average, at very best average. And yet she gets attention. She's going to get attention for that top. That top right there says, hey, I want to get wrecked right there. Bend me over the counter. Do what you want to do to my rear and my other hole. It's fine. Just get in there and destroy that stuff. And then um, I can go about drinking my coffee when you're done. The TikTok resonated with people as many rushed to the comments to reveal they do the same thing to shield themselves from unwanted attention. Did you have a coat? What are you talking? Why, why, why did you do this? Why are you going to dress provocatively if you don't want the attention? One person wrote fashion safety layer. Another said the men blocker. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Men are just, just they're, they're assaulting you with their gaze. Uh-huh. Another said, I call it my summer jacket. And then any thin fabric layer garment to cover my figure until I'm safely inside. You think you're safe inside of a, of a coffee shop? That men, men just can't, they can't see you through the windows. They can't walk in there and look at you. What the, these people are ridiculous. Someone else wrote, LOL, I have an Uber shirt I wear. Okay. Don't take Uber. While others who hadn't heard of the trend expressed how sad but necessary it is to cover up to avoid unwelcome stares. <gasps> oh no, the male gaze. <sighs> One person wrote, this is so sad, but I totally understand. Someone else said, sad but necessary. Yeah, okay. Another said, I've seen another video about a subway shirt, so the fact that this is common is so sad. Oh, two videos out of how many million people? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a button down. It just looks like it's a dress shirt. And there's the, the responses. Well, if force said, sad, wish we were safe. You are safe. The male gaze is not going to hurt you. But it makes me uncomfortable. Hey, look, I've had women staring at me inappropriately, okay? Before the lockdowns, I go to the gym. There was this girl at the gym who would always be staring at me. She looked like she was about 15 years old. 15 year olds are allowed to go to this gym as long as they go with a guardian. And I'm thinking, oh, so what's the big deal? You got some cute girl looking at you. Who cares? Well, she's 15 for one. That's inappropriate for me on my end. I would, there's no, there's nothing that she could offer me that I would be interested in. And she went with her parents. Her dad built like a quarterback. Now the quarterback is not the biggest guy on the team. I know I'm not a sports guy, but I know the quarterback is not the biggest guy on the team, but still I am small right? I weigh as of today, 139 pounds. So I'm not, I'm not going to be standing up to this quarterback guy, right? So yeah, it, that's a bit of an uncomfortable situation, but you know what I did? I worked out and got on with my life, took it as a compliment and said, okay, well, that's, this is just the way that it is. People are going to look at me. People are going to think what they want to think of me. I can't do anything about other people's thoughts. So if you're going to live in a public space, if you're going to live in a city, especially, you're going to get looked at by other people. What are you doing? If you, if, if you don't want to be looked at by other people, don't go to the city. Don't be around other people. Ray's not the only woman on TikTok revealing to have to cover up on public transport. Content creator Fiona, who lives in New York, also posted on TikTok about an oversized blazer she wears over her dress. She captioned the clip, now that it's finally getting warmer in New York, this is your reminder to always wear a subway shirt jacket over the cute outfit protecting yourself. What's the point of wearing a cute, cute outfit if you have to cover it up? I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. Many rush to the comments to leave their own thoughts with some feeling annoyed that women have to cover up to feel safe. One person wrote, it's sad you have to do that. People suck. Mm. Yeah, yeah, looks are terrible. Another said, yup, lots of crazies on the trains, Fiona. Smart bay. Mm. Don't take the trains. Now, I don't know. I've never lived in New York City. I've barely visited it. So I don't know how, I mean, I, I assume that the trains are necessary. I've ridden the train in Chicago. I've stayed in Chicago. I've spent a lot of time in Chicago. So I've been on public transit in Chicago and every different form of public transit, except for like the Uber and those sorts of things, because I don't have that on my phone. There's people around. There's lots of people around. If you want to not be looked at, leered at by men, dress in a conservative fashion. You're still going to get looked at by men if you're an attractive person. This, um, what's her name up here? Ray Hershey, she's not attractive, so she's not going to get looked at by men. You, you, you wear this stuff, you wear makeup, you do your hair, you wear these clothings that are, this clothing that is provocative so that you can get male attention. And you think, no, I wear it for myself, so I feel good. I know, I know what you're thinking, but we've covered this now. Being attractive to the opposite gender, it makes you feel good.
Please don't tar us with the same brush. Most of us are civilized, mature human beings. Yeah, this guy's a simp. So she doesn't want men looking at her while she's proactively dressed in public, but she's happy to upload it online for millions to see. Yep. Why is it okay for these strangers on the internet to look at you? But oh, in, in person, this guy might walk over to me. <gasps> get some mace, get a taser, take martial arts classes, exercise on a regular basis. These are just things that people should be doing, generally speaking. Hey, if you need to, well, in New York, you can't, but get a firearm. Let's see here what uh, Sarah Rowe says. Haha, <laughs> safety layer. They mean appropriate. <laughs> yeah, they mean appropriate clothing. Subway and Uber, etc., are not strip clubs. Dress appropriately and for the occasion. Sarah Rowe, uh, I'm assuming that you are a female based on your name, but you might not be. You're in London. You are brilliant. Exactly. Dress appropriately, and then you don't have these issues. Remember how people used to dress? 100, 150 years ago when they went to the beach, like their whole bodies were covered. Those, those bathing suits that were actual suits, <laughs> dress appropriately. Oh, well, you mean to have a cover up their modesty? How awful and unsafe, I know. Covering up your modesty is amazingly crazy. Why would you think to do something like that? How, how dare you? Covering up for modesty's sake. Oh, oh. My grandma called this being modest. It's a concept where you cover up sexual areas of a body so as to not draw attention to yourself. It's not a new concept. Yeah. I want to look at Ray's TikTok here just so you don't feel left out. No, this is the, the video here. See, she walks up with her coat on. She has a coat on. Just button the damn coat or tie this, this belt around the, the coat. Then you'll be covered. I don't understand this. This is, woman is an idiot. You can tell she knows what she's doing. She's doing it on purpose to be like, look at me showing off. <laughs> Ray Hershey. So this is her. Okay, she's putting on makeup. Here she is dressed modestly when she's going into TJ Maxx. Uh, she's doing nail art. She's got some denim skirt here. Okay, great. See, so she has some sort of fashion model channel. She is not attractive enough to be a professional model. She's way too fat. Look at this. Look at this image here. This, this one here of her. Damn, she's freaking enormous. Ugh, gross, gross. Lose some weight, chubs. And um, yeah, she just does, she just does fashion. So that's what she's showing off here. So she's getting her 15 minutes of fame by saying, "Hey, look, you need a safety layer." Yeah. All right. Well, the male gaze is not going to hurt you. You are not a little snowflake. You are not a precious little snowflake. Get over yourself. You are not that uh, impressive. Anyway, that's all I got for this time. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video.